Monash is an exciting place to do materials research, partly because we have excellent people. Uh, we have critical mass in areas such as structural materials, functional materials, energy materials. We also have all the right types of equipment to be able to characterise in detail those types of materials, including through X-ray facilities, specific electrochemical characterisations, a whole range of uh, functional materials characterisation kits, and we have the facilities to integrate these materials into practical devices that can be deployed in the real world. Many of the world's challenges today really depend on new materials. So working within a material science and engineering department really allows us to dig deep into those issues. When I think about energy as an example, and in particular solar cells, there is a quest. How do we make solar cells that are efficient, very low cost, scalable and stable. We work on a variety of different solar cell materials including organics, inorganics and the newly emerging perovskite class. We're actually working with commercial glass manufacturers and CSIRO to develop large-scale windows that can collect light and convert it into electricity. The partnership that we have with Woodside is an example of where we take a leading innovative energy company and the best material scientists, engineers and people from beyond our department to really try and address key challenges that are facing the energy sector. Woodside gave the university a large philanthropic donation to help fund this lab and the idea is that we act as an incubator for innovation and new technologies that can benefit Woodside's production. We have three areas that we look at, so additive manufacturing, materials development and data analytics and within those spaces we create new PhD projects, new research to help impact Woodside. So with us engaging with Woodside, the students are actually able to see the end product of the four years of research that they put in. The advantage for Woodside is that they gain access to this young talent pool. So the idea is that by utilizing this talent pool, they actually have future engineers that they can then tap and lean onto. Those students go on to work for Woodside and they actually have about three or four years of experience versus someone coming in fresh. Monash Center for Additive Manufacturing has the best facility in the world for additive manufacturing of 3D printing. We have the largest 3D printer in the world. Our research covers a full range of aerospace key materials and also cover the whole supply chain research. We interact a lot with the industry. In fact, all our research are sponsored by industry. We help the industry solve problems uh, based on fundamental research and uh, to provide uh, solutions to help them to find a way how to address industry issues. We have helped uh, the French engine company Saffron uh, to help them qualify the 3D printing process uh, for flying the components in air engines and also helped uh, Kermak, the Chinese commercial aircraft company, to certify the 3D printed titanium parts in their civil aircraft. The, the impact of our research in aerospace industry, for example, for air engines, that would shorten the design from the past 10 to 15 years to current 3 to 5 years. For aircraft application will be a reduction of weight of the components. We also work with hospitals trying to produce bespoke implants for patients to allow them to recover quickly. Our research is really at the interface of cell biology and material science. And what we do is try and understand the interactions between cells and materials and use those to work out how we can repair or regenerate um, new body tissues. We've discovered new mechanisms by which stem cells sense their environment and respond to it. And we've also provided impact through our publications showing new technologies that we can use to either expand or turn cells into new tissues. We've published in Nature Communications, Active Biomateriala, Biomaterials. Little Miracles is a project we did with Muscular Dystrophy Australia where we raised money for children that suffer from muscular dystrophy by making Christmas ornaments using 3D printing. The Monash Material Science and Engineering Department provided a really great backdrop for the project in the sense of being able to provide the 3D printing equipment and also the students that had the appetite, volunteer their time and effort to learn a new skill. Building off the success of Little Miracles, 
We've been engaging in other parts of the community related to sustainability, trying to develop our students' ability to recycle plastic and create useful products from that plastic using, again, additive manufacturing and 3D printing like we did for Little Miracles. We wanted to make sure that the community was able to engage with us, understanding what material science and engineering means and the role that that has to play in the broader community. The broader vision of the material science and engineering department here is around retaining and attracting the best people. People who are publishing in science nature like journals, but are also interested in solving real world materials challenges and want to make an impact. Developing research that is ultimately translated and that translation really requires multidisciplinarity. So creating multidisciplinary teams that solve real world challenges will be a major pathway for us as a department.